There is salmon success here on Puda Creek near Winters. I am with streamkeeper Rich Marovich, and he is going to explain why. Well, salmon were once very abundant in California. People came from all over the world to fish California rivers, but uh, they precipitously declined. Most of the races are now endangered. And on Puda Creek, we had very few salmon until very recently, maybe a dozen in a typical year. Lately, we've had hundreds and the population has tripled uh, in the last few years. Now we have over a thousand fish in Puda Creek and more than we ever thought we would have. Now, why is that? When you first saw this creek almost, what, 20 years ago, you thought it, it yes. does not look good. Yeah. Why has this change happened? Well, it's a combination of factors, but it's mostly about improving the spawning habitat because the reason salmon declined is they were cut off from their spawning grounds. And uh, <clears throat> we have been um, doing various techniques to loosen the gravel in the bottom of the creek to create favorable spawning conditions. Each year we increase incrementally the amount of spawning habitat we have and the populations are following. You said gravel, loosening the gravel. Why does loosening the gravel help with spawning? Well, this is one of the most exciting discoveries I hear on Puda Creek is that the bottom of the creek can become cemented like asphalt with fine particles. And reaching in with an excavator bucket and just loosening that hard layer, it's typically just six or eight inches thick. And then the salmon take to it and they spawn in areas that were, they were previously unsuitable for them. This was a group effort. It took a lot of different entities to make the success happen. Yes. Who worked on this? Well, indeed. In fact, in the uh, 1990s, there was a lawsuit over the flows of Puda Creek. It was settled by an agreement called the Puda Creek Accord. And the Accord envisioned returning salmon to Puda Creek. So we have salmon attraction flows that helps them migrate up into the creek. We notch the beaver dams when they get stuck behind a beaver dam so they can move up. Then we loosen the gravels to give them places to spawn. And now we are doing studies to see if we actually have fish spawning in Puda Creek returning and completing their entire life cycle on Puda Creek. That's the goal. And water agencies and obviously landowners to give you access to Puda Creek have to be part of this as it's, well. It's a community effort and, and I call it the power of human intention because this was a dream in 2000 and now it's coming true.